एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रबल फ्री इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द बाइनरी सर्च एलगोरिथम इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिजाइन एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ एलगोरिथम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज बाइनरी सर्च द बाइनरी सर्च एलगोरिथम अलॉन्ग विद न्यूमेरिकल एग्जाम्पल ओके सो बेसिकली बाइनरी सर्च इज एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर इन डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर वी हैव डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन राइट वी हैव बाइनरी सर्च वी हैव क्विक सॉर्ट वी हैव मर्थ सॉर्ट and we have stress and matrix multiplication and all so in this video let's learn about binary search in the next video quick sort and all okay so as i said we will be learning a numerical example and also the algorithm for the binary search so and one condition for binary search is the arrow array should be in a sorted way okay in case of linear search you the arrow need the array need not be in a sorted manner you can just go on straight away search so here also for example if you want to search for the element 63 you can start searching 5 okay no not there 9 not there 17 you can start searching since there are only 10 elements here you can do the manual search but if there are thousands of elements you cannot do the manual search right in that case these searching algorithms will be useful for you okay so let's get started before that let me show you the algorithm for binary search let me explain you the algorithm okay this is the binary search and algorithm so binary search of a comma n comma key a is the array n is the number of elements and key is the element you are trying to search for okay and you are taking start as 0 and the n position as n minus 1 that is the last position and while start is less than or equal to n that is if start value is less than or equal to n then you have to go into this loop okay this loop if the start value is greater than n you will return minus 1 that is unsuccessful search that is element is not present in the array okay now let's see what happens in the while loop as long as start is less than or equal to n you can go with this while loop okay so first you have to do mid is equal to start plus n by 2 then you will get the mid position then if that mid position is equal to key if the mid value is equal to key then you can directly return the mid if it is not equal to it could be either less or it could be either greater right so when it is less what you have to do when it is greater what you have to do don't get confused you will not understand like this if i tell you i'll explain you with a numerical example then we will try to understand the algorithm again then it will be more clear for you okay so let's go into the uh, numerical example without any further delay so this is our example so 5 9 17 and so on 89 is our array so number of elements is equal to 10 since we have 10 elements okay and this is the start position so according to our algorithm start position is 0 and end position is n minus 1 n minus 1 is nothing but 10 minus 1 which is the ninth position so this is start and this is the end and what is our key value it's 59 that is you are trying to find out 59 from the array okay so first what you have to do you have to do the mid value mid is equal to what start plus n by 2 right so what is start position 0 and what is end position 9 so 0 plus 9 by 2 which is 4.5 that is you can take it as 4 so what is a of mid now a of mid is equal to a of 4 which is equal to 25 okay now three scenarios you have to check whether key is equal to mid or key is less than mid or key is greater than mid three scenarios you have to check if key is equal to mid then you can directly return the mid element if key is less than mid then what you have to do end is equal to mid minus 1 okay if key is greater than mid then start is equal to mid plus 1 okay you have to remember these three conditions that's all so now see your mid value is less than key or it is greater than key it is less than key right 25 is less than 59 okay so a of mid is less than sorry a yeah a of mid is less than the key element that is this condition key 59 is greater than 25 right so you have to go for start is equal to mid plus 1 so now what your start position will become mid 
plus 1 that is equal to 5. So, your start position is 5 now. The end position will be same as it is. Okay. So, now what your array will become? 45, 59, 63, 71, 89. Why? Because you are updating your start position to 5. So, this will become your start now. Okay. And the end position will be as it is. As it is end position you will take. Okay. Now, consider this array. Forget about the previous array now. Divide and conquer, right? You have to divide and you have to solve. So, you have divided your array now. Now, you have to solve it. So, now again mid is equal to start plus n divided by 2 which is this is fourth position this is fifth position right start is equal to 5 so 5 6 7 8 9 so 5 plus 9 divided by 2 14 by 2 is equal to 7 so what is a of mid now a of 7 what is a of 7 value 63 now again check these three conditions what is our key? 59. 59 is equal to mid. Is 59 is equal to 63? No. 59 is less than mid. So, 59 is less than mid. Yes. So, you have to go for this condition. So, what does this condition say? End is equal to mid minus 1. So, end is equal to mid minus 1. That is equal to 7 minus 1. So, what is the end position now? 6 is the end position. Okay. So, from this array, take 6 as the end position. So, 59 will be your end position and the start position will be as it is. So, 45 you will take it as it is. Okay. So, what is index of 45? 5 and for 59 it is 6. 5, 6 you have taken. Now, this is your new array. Now, you can forget about this old array. Now, you have to concentrate only on this array. Got it? So, now again mid is equal to start plus n divided by 2. So, what is start? 5 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 5.5 which is nothing but 5. So, now your mid is equal to 5. So, what is a of mid now? What is the element in the fifth position? 45. Okay. So, 45 you got. 45 is your mid value now. Now, again check here is key is equal to mid that is 59 is equal to mid no 59 is not equal to 45 59 is less than mid no 59 is greater than mid right so you have to go for start is equal to mid plus 1 start is equal to mid plus 1 okay let me zoom in yeah so here what is your mid value 5 so what is start now start is equal to 5 plus 1. So, that means start will become what? 6. Okay. Start is equal to 6. Now, do the same here. So, what is the sixth position? 59. So, 59 this will become the start position. End position as it is it should be there. End is again here 59 only. So, start will be 59. End will be 59. Okay. Now, calculate the mid value. So, this is 6, 6, right? Yeah. 6 plus 6 by 2, which is equal to 6. So, A of mid is equal to A of 6, which is nothing but 59. Okay. So, what did you get A of mid as 59? Again, check these three conditions now. Is key is equal to mid? Key is 59 and mid is also 59. Yes. So, key is equal to mid. If key is equal to mid, you have to return the mid value. Okay. That means now what is the mid value? 6. That means the element is present at 6th position. Okay. See here. The element is present at 6th position. Right. So, you have to keep on dividing. Now, we will try to understand the algorithm now. Okay. So, start you have started with 0 position. So, start is equal to 0 and end is equal to last position. So, n minus 1. That is clear. While start is less than or equal to n. As long as the value of start is less than or equal to n, you have to do mid value. Mid is nothing but start plus n by 2 
three conditions you will get from here okay these three conditions these three conditions okay in that what is the first one if key is equal to a of mid then you can directly return mid okay if key value is less than a of mid then what you are doing end is equal to mid minus 1 okay and the third scenario is if key is greater than a of mid we wrote else because we don't have any other condition later so you, you writing else here that means when key is greater than a of mid what we are doing we are doing start is equal to mid plus 1 okay so here we are closing our while loop okay our while loop is ended here if this condition is failing that is if start is less than or equal to end condition is failing that means if start is greater than end then you have to return minus 1 return minus 1 means there is no element the element is not found in the array okay let's try to do that scenario also okay, this is our array we have taken the same array and we are trying to find out 60 okay 60 is not present so it has to return minus 1 let us see how it is going to return minus 1 so what is your first step St assign start and assign end so start is less than or equal to end right so start is less than or equal to end so you can enter into this while loop so in the while loop what is your first step mid is equal to start plus end by 2 which is 0 plus 9 by 2 which is 4.5 which is nothing but 4 so a of mid will be how much a of 4 which is 25 so what is our first condition key is equal to a of mid no this is not satisfying key is not equal to a of mid key is 60 and a of mid is 25 so 60 is less than 25 no 60 is greater than 25 so what you will do start is equal to mid plus 1 so start is equal to mid plus 1 why because key is greater than a of mid okay so what your start value will be now start is equal to mid is 4 so 4 plus 1 that will be 5 5 means your array will start here okay so 45 59 63 71 89 so this is your start position now and this is your end position okay now again do the same so this is 5 6 7 8 9 right start is less than or equal to end yes 5 is less than or equal to 9 so you can enter into the while loop in while loop what is the first step mid is equal to start plus n by 2 which is 5 plus 9 by 2 14 by 2 you will get 7 okay so a of mid is equal to a of 7 which is nothing but how much 63 okay now check again three conditions is key is equal to mid what is your key value 60 60 is not equal to 63 okay so second scenario is key is less than mid 60 is less than 63 so your end will become mid minus 1 so since end will become mid minus 1 why because your key value is less than your mid value so then end will be how much mid is 7 right 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6 okay so 6 means 15 59 will become the end value and the start value will be 45 as it is so this will be your start and this will become your end okay now still start is less than or equal to mid 5 is less than or equal to 6 yes true so you can enter the while loop in while loop first step what you are doing mid is equal to start plus n by 2 so what is start 5 plus 6 by 2 which is equal to 5.5 which is nothing but 5 so now a of mid is equal to a of 5 is equal to how much 45 now check for this in conditions again F key is 60 and mid is 45 ok so key is equal to mid 45 60 is equal to 45 no key is less than mid 
that means 60 is less than 45 no 60 is greater than 45 so start will become mid plus 1 okay so here your start will become mid plus 1 so what is your mid value 5 so start will be 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6 what our array will become 59 is the only element present in the array and 59 only will be the start element 59 will be the mid end element also because it is end in the previous array you are taking it as it is and start is equal to 6 you got right since 59 is the sixth element you are taking it as the start now start is less than or equal to end 6 is less than or equal to 6 so now what you can do you can enter the while loop in the while loop what is the first step mid is equal to start plus end by 2 so 6 plus 6 by 2 which is 6 so now a of 6 so a of mid is equal to a of 6 which is nothing but 59 now go to the algorithm so is key is equal to mid 59 is equal to 60 no 50, sorry, 60 and key is less than a of mid that is 60 is less than a of mid no 60 is less than 59 false next 60 is greater than 59 yes this is true so you can go for this condition that is start is equal to mid plus 1 so okay. I am doing it here start is equal to mid plus 1 ok so what is mid value now 6 right so start will become 6 plus 1 which is equal to 7 now start is equal to 7 and what is the end value here 6 end is equal to how much 6 so if you look at the algorithm here as long as start is less than or equal to end only this while loop is executable as long as start is less than or equal to end you can use this while loop if not you have to return minus 1 that is when start is greater than end you have to return minus 1 here 7 is greater than 6 that means your start value is greater than your end value so you have to return minus 1 which means that the element is not present in the array the element 60 here the element 60 is not present in the array is the meaning of that okay so that's all guys that's all for this video this is about binary search you have to divide the algorithm you have to divide the array and then keep on searching okay so let me know in the comment section if you have any feedback that is if i am going fast or slow or anything any feedback give me in the comment section i'll definitely take it and try to improve it thanks for watching the video till the end if you have liked my content consider subscribing to my channel